Hello. Welcome to another job application video by the Career Center of the East Baton Rouge Parish Library. We will walk you through completing a job application for Pizza Hut. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we're going, we're going to go to Pizza Hut. On your screens, what you wanna do is click on this plus sign and open up a new tab and type in Pizza Hut. Now I've already done that, so I'm gonna click on this tab that says Pizza Hut. Okay, what we're gonna look for is a sign, symbol, wordage, a message that says, careers, jobs, etc. If you don't find any of those things at the very beginning, you can always look down at the bottom and always look for a, a line or a title that says about us. And under that, you will nine times out of 10 find a separate category that says careers. Okay, so now that we are there, Let's move down and we're going to narrow the search. We click on location and it automatically popped up Baton Rouge because it read our location. We're gonna click search and apply. And there's going to populate a map that's gonna show the different locations. And of course, that's a great feature because you can determine where you want to work depending on where you be coming from, maybe home, a second job, et cetera. Okay, so we're going to click on view jobs. We see a customer service job here on Segan. We're gonna click on that. Okay, customer service. Description, requirements, additional information. Okay, we're very interested in that. And we're going to click apply. Okay. So it again tells you where you're gonna be working and what type of job you're applying for. We're gonna click get started. Okay, and so we're gonna put on our first name. and the birth month. And let's scroll down. And we're gonna put an optional pin, four digit pin. We repeat that here. Be sure to write that down in case you have to check on your application for any reason. Okay. It says this pen is used to revive your application if you need to come back anytime. We click next. Okay. Now it tells you what you'll need. Okay. And what to expect. And so we're going to go to to get started. Select all the countries where you number one reside, number two are applying to work or number three are currently working. And that would be United States of America. We're gonna click save and continue. Okay, e-signature disclosures and consent. We click on this document. Be sure to read it very thoroughly. And we back out of that. And we have another e-signature document and be sure to read it. We close that one. It says by checking this box and clicking the save and continue button below, I confirm that I read, agree, and consent to the information described in the links below. Okay. And we're gonna same same steps here, snag a job. And with this one, it gives you an opportunity to download. It is a considerably longer document. 
And I would suggest you definitely print it out. Okay, job seeker terms. Again, an opportunity to download. Be sure to read it, download it. Both are checked and we're gonna check to say that we are acknowledging that we've read. And then we're gonna click save and continue. EEO voluntary self-identification. Equal employment opportunity. You may voluntarily identify your race or ethnicity. American Indian. You may voluntarily identify your gender. Female. Click save and continue. And now we have three boxes checked. Know your rights. Okay, notice of e-verify, right to work. Now you can click on those two documents and I suggest you do. We're gonna click save and continue just for the sake of time. Be sure to click on all those documents and read them carefully. What is your weekly availability to work? When are you available to work? I'm available all week. I'm available only a few days a week. Okay, this is gonna be a part-time job for me. And so I'm only available a few days a week. Which days are you available? Choose options. I am available on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Okay, let's close that. Okay, options 10 to 4 p.m. Yes, 10 to four. Okay, so what date are you available to start? Hours per week. Okay, we're gonna say 20. Okay, so it has completed some information already and we need to put in our address. Okay, and the city. And state is Louisiana. Postal code. Please enter your contact information. Okay, John's contact information is I've transferred that information correctly from my notes. And my telephone number is, I would like to receive text message notifications to track my application status. Yes, I would. Save and continue. If hired, can you show proof of legal right to work? In the United States, yes. John was born here. Are you 16 years of age or older? Of course. Do you have reliable transportation? Yes. Save and continue. Are you able to lift 50 pounds? Yes. Are you able to comply with spending six to nine hours on your feet at a time? Yes. Let's move down. Proper work apparel, no excessive jewelry or makeup, and good hygiene are requirements of the position. Are you willing to comply? Of course. Do you have a reliable form, form of transportation? Do you have a reliable form of transportation? Yes. Have you at any time worked for Pizza Hut? No. Save and continue. Okay, we said no, but I think it's requiring us to put in slash A. And so we're going to just, it doesn't say that, but it will not allow us to move fur further uh, just by saying no. And let's save and continue. 
Would you like to add employment history to your application? Yes. Right. So the first company, okay, so we're going to put in uh, the most recent company that we've worked for. Now, job title there was driver, and the supervisor was And the phone number was. And let's move further down. And the address was. And. And Louisiana is the, and let's go to the postal code. Okay, we started there in January 13th, 2019. Let's find that one. And our end date was June. Uh, June 19th, 2022. List your responsibilities. Transport shipment. And goods. Okay, reason for leaving, company close. Maybe contact your previous employer for a reference, absolutely. And we're not gonna add an additional employer just for time's sake, uh, but you get the gist of it, how you need to complete uh, this application. We're going to click save and continue, okay. Now it gives you the option here to upload a resume. Uh, and what you will do, of course, you would click on choose a file, select that file and click upload. Okay, you will go there, choose a file and click upload. And let's click save and continue. How did you hear about this job? Let's choose an option. Company website. Let's click save and continue. Do you have any relatives employed with us? No. Does someone refer you to the position? No. Save and continue. Are you available to interview with a hiring manager? True. Are you at least 16 years old? True. Are you able to stand for the duration of a four to six hour shift? True. Save and continue. You're applying to the following position, customer service at Segan Lane, Baton Rouge. If this is correct, submit your application. Application sent, high five. Your application is complete and has been delivered to Pizza Hut. You will receive an email correspondence from Pizza Hut in the future. We have completed another application. And thank you for viewing this video. If you have found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on all our social media platforms. Thanks for tuning in to the Career Center's YouTube channel. We wish you well on your job search journey.